What's going on guys? Retex Twins here. Have a wonderful day. Got a video for you guys. The RG35XX each has a new update 1.1.6. They added the Sega Saturn as a standalone emulator. RetroArch update 1.19.1. And they fixed some bugs. Now, the problem is they made the 16 gigabyte version. Okay, and as you guys know, we don't like this, right? Because it does not flash properly on your SD card. Your micro SD card, I should say, right? That's bogus. So what did I do, guys? I emailed them. I told them I need the 64 gigabyte version. And they said, for what console? And I said, the RG35XXH. And what did they do, guys? They gave it to me. So this one will be linked down below in the description, guys. Now, I don't know how long they're going to have this site up for. But I do have it downloaded on my computer as of September 4th. So I don't know if like in a week or so people start seeing this. Uh, and it, it doesn't work. I have it downloaded so I could always upload it online somewhere to Mega, Google, somewhere. I'll, fi I'll figure that out if I need to, okay? So, 64 gigabyte version here. I have it downloaded already. Let's go ahead and take a look. So, I did put it on a micro SD card to, I think, download it from my tablet. Yeah, I did it from my tablet because it wouldn't let me download it from my PC for whatever reason. I keep getting a network error. I'm trying to figure that out. So I put it to my micro SD card here. This is actually the one I'm going to be using for flashing. Uh, this is the one I use for videos for the RG. So this one kind of has a bunch of different nonsense. This one was in my tablet. I'm going to just get rid of it, whatever. I don't care. So you guys are going to download that. You will get the zip file right here. It's not going to say pending like mine does. Don't worry about that. It will say uh, CXM uh, and then all the other nonsense. Oh, it does right there. Yeah, don't worry about the pending, okay? Anyways, you're going to extract it completely until you see this next folder here. So, once you extract it and whatnot, I extracted it to a folder, 1.1.6, 64 gigabyte, I just made that, whatever. You're going to open it, and you're going to see all of these guys, right? The 0, 1 to 13. You're going to see this other zip. You're going to take this zip and 7-zip it, okay? You're going to need 7-zip. Rufus and Mini Tool Partition Wizard. All right, all those will be linked down below in the description. Of course, you need a micro SD card reader. Uh, I have one on the TikTok shop that I use now, that I am currently using, you know, right now. Uh, that will be linked down below if you guys are looking for one. So, you're going to extract files through 7-zip. Let me go ahead and put it in that main front folder there. Hit OK. It's going to be right here, as you guys can see. That's going to be our flash, you know, file there. Guys, I'm going to cut this part out and I'll see you when it's done. All right, guys. So that is fully done now. Let's go ahead and open up Mini Tool Partition Wizard. Now, some people are saying, oh, you have to pay for this. It literally says free 12.8 on the top. I don't know where they get these ideas from, okay? But you guys have no clue what you're talking about. Okay. So go ahead and find your micro SD card. It's going to be disk three for me. It's going to be whichever one for you. 64 gig, 128, whichever one you're using. Go ahead, right click, delete all partitions. That's going to delete everything off of your micro SD card. If there's anything you want to save, now would be the time before you do that. If you have saved data, uh, saved folders, uh, your BIOS, your ROMs, if you want to. Copy those over somewhere on your PC before you do this. Hit yes. I'm going to right click the 59.5. I'm going to create. And this is just going to be uh, uh, R, I guess, whatever. Uh, FAT32. Actually, it defaulted to E. Whatever, that's fine. Uh, hit OK. Hit apply. Hit yes. It's going to rewrite that whole thing. Now we need Rufus, which was in that folder right there if you guys want it where you can search it up uh it's linked down below in the description as well for the newest version i'm going to open it up i think i have 4.4 right here let me go ahead and take a look yeah 4.4 so now label e 64 gigabytes select we're going to find don't worry about that one that's a 16 gigabyte one that i was uh trying out let me find it here folder image right 60 gigabytes open Hit start. It's going to rewrite that whole thing, guys. I will see you when it's done. 
I'm gonna cut this part out because this will take about uh, 45 minutes. All right, guys, it is done. As you can see on the left here, we have everything that we need. We have all of our bios. If we go to our ROMs, let's go to uh, MAME here. Perfect, all of our games, uh, you know, GBA if you wanna look. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Let's go ahead now, plug the micro SD card back into the RG35XXH and see if it worked. All right, guys, boot it up right now. Let's go ahead into our menu, system info, and version 1.1.6 on the top. 35 gigabytes used, 82%. Absolutely perfect. Guys, if that was helpful, drop a like on the video. Thank you guys so much for almost 1,600 subs. I greatly appreciate it. I know I haven't been that active, guys, but not too much going on. And actually, a lot of stuff going on at the same time. Uh, follow my social medias, guys. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you guys all in the next video. Take care, everybody.